CAPFAC 2023 mission 250 plus today we will see day number 18 so in this uh, we will provide will provide 15 important topic uh, related to report writing so in continuity i provided uh, 15 topics in essay 15 topics in argument writing 15 topics i am providing in report writing so 45 topics uh, recently means in 3 days 45 topics and uh, at least 25 topics I provided more. So uh, total 70 plus topics already uh, covered. I had said you uh, key 50 plus 50 topics I will provide in open. So uh, 70 uh, plus topics uh, if uh, you will see this, this topic, today's topic. So 70 plus topics will be there. Go through each and every topics and uh, go through that in holistic way. Definitely it will uh, help you. And some more topics, uh, if possible, I will provide. Otherwise, whatever uh, I, I promised you in terms of topic, I am uh, providing. And more things, obviously, I said the, the last uh, day, I will uh, keep adding something, some more values and all. So today's topic first is data security and privacy in the AI era. So in the artificial intelligence era, data security and privacy is very uh, big challenge and uh, it is not just a problem for those who are, for example, uh, not using uh, proper, not knowing how to use internet and all. It is a problem for power users also. Whatsoever security and other features you are using, you are always at risk. So in AI era, there are a lot of challenges and all. So in that, next legalizing same-sex marriage. So it is in news uh, for so long. So obviously you should prepare for this topic. Whether topic is uh, coming or not we cannot say with guarantee no uh, but we are in the condition ki we should prepare we should prepare the topic if it is coming then it's good if not coming then obviously uh, there, there is nothing such as na ki definitely it will be asked but uh, you have to prepare after that uh, next drone challenges in our border areas so BSF, for example, one of the participating force of CAPF, BSF is facing uh, the drone challenges in border area, particularly in the Punjab uh, sector. So, so many drones and Rajasthan, for example, also. Next uh, topic number four, post-truth world. Post-truth world means uh, anything, uh, information, any information we are getting, that is not properly checked. And people are uh, passionate, he just, uh, they are forwarding the news news you got and just without checking uh, authenticity without checking whether it is uh, true or not and we are uh, in a habit of forwarding and this is uh, not the new thing means for long time it has been happening but uh, in the era of uh, social media the things has increased and the pace of uh, uh, spreading of news is very fast so in the post truth world some people are doing it knowingly and some people are doing it unknowingly. They are not knowing uh, and or they are not having that minimum maturity or they are not having time. Whatsoever things can be there or that uh, thing if they are not controlling themselves. Anything, for example, if I am not sharing something, some people think now, uh, for example, uh, as a teacher, uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm giving you an example. If there are some uh, students now who got some news, uh, which is of note directly related to me. And they are just sending key so that I should read about that. Clear whatsoever news, if there is important in the market, then I may also know if I am asking or if uh, I am uh, seeking your opinion, definitely you should give. But some people are uh, in such a temptation that they are not uh, stopping themselves. So that creates problem. Next uh, topic number five giving too many extensions to a civil servant is not a good practice uh, recently for example uh, enforcement directorate uh, head of enforcement directorate uh, was he was given multiple extensions so, so uh, government said ki it is uh, necessary for country supreme court commented ki uh, don't you think uh, country has uh, other talents so this itna bada hai aur aapko lagta hai ek hi aadmi ko aap multiple extension de rahe ho it means कि आप ये क्या समझते हो कि country के पास जो है ये problem है country के पास जो समस्या है तो वो चीज को आपको ये ध्यान रखना है next आपका जो है vibrant village program so vibrant village program जो है 
वो उसको संबंध में ओके तो नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज वाइब्रेंट विलेज प्रोग्राम फॉर इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी आल्सो एंड फॉर अदर पर्पज इन नदर्न बॉर्डर तो वाइब्रेंट विलेज प्रोग्राम इज ऑन गोइंग थीम नेक्स्ट क्लाइमेट रिजिलियंट एग्रीकल्चर एग्रीकल्चर ड्यू टू क्लाइमेट चेंज द एग्रीकल्चर पैटर्न इज चेंजिंग एग्रीकल्चर थिंग्स आर चेंजिंग सो डेट थिंग आफ्टर ग्लोबल बायोडाइवर्सिटी फ्रेमवर्क टू मेंटेन बायोडाइवर्सिटी इन द वर्ल्ड global uh, biodiversity framework is there you should go uh, on that topic after that indigenization of uh, indian defense sector it is one of the hot topic you must go through this topic either in case of uh, report writing either in case of uh, argument writing or in case of uh, your essay any uh, definitely you will get after that india in the amrit kal phase so india for example in 22 entered uh, in the amrit kal phase so you should uh, go through definitely ki what are challenges what are positive things what are pros and cons topic number 11 india's role in international arena at this time for example india is uh, having uh, presidency of g20 and g20 is one of the largest organization uh, for example in terms of reach or in terms of power structure after obviously united nations is the largest organization in every aspects but besides that it is also considering one of the largest uh, uh, group okay so india's role in that and also for example uh, india is the head uh, or you can india is having presidency of uh, sco also so in that regard you should uh, go through topic number 12 increased women's participation in mg narega mg narega for example uh, more number of women are participating in that then for example the danger of defect technology it is also a hot topic it is also very important topic you must go through in detail after that theaterization of indian armed forces uh, this topic is also important from defense point of view so you should uh, go through uh, after india green hydrogen mission green hydrogen mission india is promoting uh, green energy so in that regard you go through okay so these are 15 topics related to report uh, writing you should go through each and every our uh, topic you search uh, the different topics so so many topics i have already provided and definitely uh, this is going to be helpful okay if you are having any questions query doubt you can message just you are having one week so keep focusing last time jo bhi hai apne ko kabhi bhi uh, down feel na hone do aap apne ko uh, aap rakho motivation aap apna usko aap rakhna hai okay thank you